Hey guys, we can make anyone laugh or cry through our words because words have a lot of power. Yes, today my topic is think before you speak. Friends, the tongue has no bones, but it is said that it is strong enough to break a heart. So we should think twice before we speak. I mean, this is nothing new and we all have heard it many times, but a few people actually implement it. Friends, there is forgiveness for every sin, but there is no forgiveness for breaking someone's heart. That is why all religions forbid anger. Because when one is angry, one loses the ability to think. And as so, a person speaks without thinking and has to repent later. Just the way as arrow cannot come back when it has been shot. Similarly, we cannot take back words we that have spoken. Most of the time, it is our tongue that creates all the troubles. My brothers and sisters, sometimes in anger, people end up saying things that can break their relationships. As we all know, most divorces take place in anger and our words have so much power that when the husband pronounces divorce, the strong relationship of a husband and wife can just come to an end. So there are times when we are not so tolerant of other people's views. And when we disagree with something, an argument begins. We immediately become angry that how could someone dare to say something in front of us that we don't agree with. People start to use abusive words over little things. Being in bad traffic and getting angry is a common example which almost all of us have experienced. And by the way, this is called road rage. Listening to only a one-sided story and accusing one person of being bad and the other as good is equal to the listening to just half the truth, right? So my dear friends, it is better to calm down and listen to both sides of the story before you decide who has been in the wrong and should apologize to the other person who was right all along. Friends, a physical injury can heal, but the emotional scars left by hurtful words last for long. Words are slaves to humans, but only before they are spoken, right? Once they are spoken, a man becomes a slave to words. We are recognized by the way we talk. Our speech represents our life. Our words are a reflection of who we are. Friends, our words have different tastes like food. So just the way we serve food, we also serve words, right? Before serving words, we should taste them to check that they must taste or sound good to the other person. At the end, I would say, too much talking is usually a sign of nervousness or stupidity. Before you say something, ask yourself, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Speak only if the answer to these questions is yes. You know, friends, tongue is a good servant, but a terrible master. Put effort into controlling your words and it will change your life. Thank you.